Welcome to West Virginia State University, NASA-SEMA. Today we will be going over the PITSCO rocket launcher system uh, and the three components that we need to be aware of. And we're also going to look at how we launch a rocket from this particular system. The first component I'd like to talk about is this launch tube. It's a small cylindrical metal tube that has a rubber ring that is adjustable. Uh, the purpose of the ring is so you can put your straw on the tube and push it down to where the ring is and this is where it will set. So if I want this straw to set about an inch from the end of the tube, then I can do so and it will set where I place it upon that ring. I normally, if I have a, uh, a straw that has not been cut, uh, put it about an inch above the uh, bend in the tube. The other aspect of this particular system is the, the board behind it that reads launch angle. This is uh, in degrees and it's in 15 degree increments. The uh, right side is from 0 to 90, which is your right uh, angle, your 90 degree right angle, and then you have 0 to 90 on your left side, again uh, a 90 degree right angle. The third and last component is the cylinder which houses a weighted rod. The measurements on the weighted rod is in centimeters, uh, and I believe that is due to the fact that when we are measuring gravity, we can do it in centimeters uh, per a second squared. So again, this is written from 0 to 46 in increments of 2. Now how we use this system is very simple. I have it on a bucket so uh, we can see it better. But I put my rocket on there. I set the angle. Uh, 15 degrees is a, a pretty good angle, 5 to 15 for a good trajectory. And then I lay out my measuring tape, which is behind me. Uh, I've got about 10 feet laid out. And so I have my students just pick the weighted rod up and determine the, uh, the centimeters uh, per second square that they're going to use. And for instance, if I decided to do 30, I would lift it up to the, the 30 mark. I would set the angle. And in this case, I'll set it to say uh, 15. And then all I would do is just drop the weighted rod. Uh, it's in about four foot. Uh, you can tell it's not very true. It's probably about four and a half, or I'm sorry, a foot and a half from the tape line. Um, normally, I also suggest the students to uh, run at least three trials on their rocket design uh, because sometimes we just don't sit, sit the rocket on the tube properly or um, we do not have our uh, launch system aligned with our tape measure. So again, I'm going to give it a, another try. Okay, there we go. Uh, I've got it now at about six and a half feet at this point. So that was a pretty good trial for this. Um, the other thing with regards to the launch system that you might want to be aware of is that the Pitsco straws are a perfect uh, size to put on this. They're very sturdy, durable uh, straws that can be reused over and over again. However, as uh, an educator, sometimes uh, people bring me straws, uh, they get donated, uh, or we find a really good deal on straws. So uh, we have to be aware, at least with this system, that the straw, not all straws are the same. For instance, these are both drinking straws. This one uh, came from Walmart. It was in the collared pack. It was the ones without the bend in it. And its diameter is actually too small to sit upon the tube. However, the drinking straws that have the bend in them uh, tend to work really well. Uh, 
The other issue is uh, if you have, say, donation of the milkshake straws, they tend to be way too big. And because uh, there is no way to control the pressure inside the tube on the launch tube because you have all this extra room and the air just comes out the bottom instead of using it as the force to launch the tube, it does nothing. Uh, so one of the things that you could possibly do to, if you're going to use the milkshake straws is if you have a cork or a, a rubber stopper, you could put that down on the tube to fit the diameter of the milkshake that way. This would at least be able to do the larger uh, diameter drinking straws and the milkshake straws. Now I've experimented with this and I've tried to create um, other systems where for instance I would uh, take the uh, cylinder off of a, a smaller bicycle pump and a coffee sh stirrer and put it on this but it loses uh, velocity as the air is traveling and it doesn't work as well. So it would be nice if at one point maybe Pitsco uh, would manufacture adapters that we could screw on and screw off uh, for a launch tube to better fit various diameter straws. So I hope you enjoyed our presentation and uh, enjoy your Pitsco. It's a very good product. We use it quite regularly and stay tuned as we go over some other types of launch systems. Thank you. Bye-bye.